Arizona, the performance troupe Entropy lights up a very special night at the Alban House Foundation's main stage. The reason for tonight's festivities? This is the closing night Rite of Spring Ball, capping the month-long run of the Alban House's annual exotic show. Attendees and volunteers mingle with artists and performers in celebrating freedom of sensual expression in the arts. Within the garden walls of this lush oasis in the city, the line between people and artwork becomes blurred as an intoxicating mix of culture and subculture comes together in this rich creative environment. Both the art and the people are distinctive and diverse, engaging, exceptional, eclectic, and in their own ways, exotic. Upon venturing into the gallery itself, one is immediately assaulted by a colossal collection of positively provocative paintings, scandalous sculptures, fetishistic photography, and mesmerizing multimedia masterpieces. Approximately 100 pieces of erotic-themed art from over 50 emerging artists greet the viewer with something to impress, arouse, and intrigue everyone. The flesh is flaunted in the artwork and in the undulating curves of the dancers on the outdoor stage. I'm Angel and I perform with Indigo Fire. It's a dance troupe. We do belly dance, fusion belly dance. We have sword and palm flames and um, snake, double sword, lots of fun props. All shapes, sizes, colors, and persuasions are welcome in this celebration. The underlying message is in the venue's name. We are all one house. It's, you know, the artistic thought, the openness of the audience, and, you know, the people who want to come. It's the community, and we really enjoy coming. The Exotic Show is the largest fundraising exhibit for Alwyn House, drawing in the largest attendance of the year. It is so popular that several events are held during the run of the show to provide more opportunities to view and purchase artwork. If you are new to collecting original art, Alwyn House is a great place to start. All of the art is for sale and in a wide price range for every budget and styles for every taste. Some of it is very classic. Some of it is highly controversial. There is whimsical art, dark art, inventive and innovative art, and sometimes art with a definite message. Every work is a surefire conversation piece for the collector's home. And every person in attendance has their favorites. Actually, I'm standing next to my favorite one. This, this one. That's the, why I came this out with this one. Ah, uh, yeah. That one was really cool. 
Actually, really? I, I've been here maybe three or four times. So it's, it's always fun, fun to find a nice nugget in here. Um, I, I'm not sure of the artist names exactly, I but uh, the, the one page. upstairs, the, one, the other woman on the sofa, um, the, the gentleman who has the multimedia uh, image of the, Steve Gong, I'm always impressed with what he's doing there. It's just, um, it's like being in an alternate reality, which I enjoy. It, it challenges what I'm thinking. Providing interactive opportunities with the art-going public, guests are invited to leave their feedback on a large autograph sheet in the basement gallery. Their responses are as entertaining as the show itself. Even more interactive is the chance encounter with one of the contributing artists in attendance. They are passionate in their work and enjoy every opportunity to discuss their processes and inspirations. Well, I'm Scooter Harris. Uh, I do a lot of different things from oil paintings such as these right over here. Uh, I oftentimes take uh, that reference material beforehand. It just makes things a lot easier. Where this one is an exception right here. Uh, where a friend of mine who was actually a retired burlesque dancer by the name of Kitten Tapata, she sent me a video of her back her. in the uh, uh, oh early God. 80s. That, that's her smile. Yeah. That, that's her smile. Yeah. Yeah. The cool thing was about that particular video was it was all brand new material and I suddenly started going like, well, what if I uh, took an image, you know, put the DVD on pause and then try to uh, capture the image that way so I would have something brand new. Because one of the big problems, especially with Kitten, was because she was so recognizable as an icon, and most of the photographs, her more famous photographs, had been taken by Russ Meyer himself. So it was just trying to find a new way of, uh, without ha having to do over something that's already iconic in the first place. But you could still have Kitten the top of time. Elsewhere in the gallery, we catch up with award-winning oil painter Eric Simmons, as well as the female models for his entries in this exhibit. My name is Christina Mitchell. I think this was her first time doing uh, posing for a paint, and she was very cooperative and had ideas herself that kind of you know, transcended the painting, and that was great. You know, it was actually a lot of fun. Um, he has this awesome little stage where we made the scene, and I was even like doing a bunch of different poses with this fake caterpillar that was made out of some sponge. She was an excellent model. Phenomenal artist. Uh, my name is Star, and this is my painting that Eric Simmons did for me. And I've done a couple of pieces with him, and I'm actually going to do some more in the future. In the future. As I go through my transformation, I really like being part of art. I did it just for fun. Um, he's a great guy, very good artist. I'm a fan of his work myself, and to me, it was just an honor to work with him. It's, it's interesting to delve into the um, into what you may or may not know, consciously or unconsciously, what the the image is projecting to me. It, it's all goes. It, it's very organic. When you thought this night could not get any hotter, you were mistaken. But I know you weren't thinking that. I know you weren't thinking that. I don't know what that was awesome!